sort of the video ran out of time, I didn't realise, and I completed the whole question. So I've just been talking to myself for the last few minutes. Right, so what have we said? So we've combined these the left hand side together. So the right hand side becomes the minus a half e to the x cos 2x plus a quarter e to the x sine 2x with a plus c knocking about. Right, so I want to get rid of that 5 over 4 because this bit here, that's my question. So I want the question equal to it. So I'm going to multiply through by 4 things. So the integral of e to the x sine 2x dx, my question, becomes, so if I multiply by 4 over 5, it's minus 4 over 10, which is minus 2 fifths, e to the x cos 2x, and then if I multiply through by 4 fifths, I've got 4 over 20, which is 1 over 5, e to the x sine 2x, and well, my constant is just a constant, if I multiply it by 4 over 5, it's still a constant. So, and that's the answer to that. Now this has never ever come up on a penny pad, where you have to get the, where both of them cycle. You, the, the big thing is that they both cycle. So you kind of like, you know, you don't get a bit where it reduces down. So if you look here, the E cycles, the cos cycle, you've got to do it twice, you rearrange it, oh my word, to get the answer, in the, to get the question in the answer which is what they've done there, I've got to say. There. So there's the question. There's the question. So they combined it. So there's my question. I just divide through. So if you properly mess with your head, that's fine. Right, we'll finish there with that one.